All right guys, now I know it's a little bit earlier from when I usually upload my videos and I also know that I need a haircut so just roast me in the comments. I'm posting a bit earlier because I have a busy day, but I've been spending the morning doing research for you guys. So all I ask in return is for a like, a subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you enjoy any of the content. And also drop a comment down below whether you're roasting me or whether you're dropping a positive comment. So Black Adam challenges the hierarchy of power with a 140 million global weekend box office victory. Everybody who says movie theaters are dead, this just proves once again, back to back to back, that you are wrong. Shout out to The Rock for this huge dub on Black Adam. Now, SEC leaders with nearly 50 years experience quit under Gary Gensler's tenure. This is weird because right after Gary Gensler came out with the video, it was on Fox Business, about the push for banning payment for order flow, people just start to resign. Speaking of that, the Japan economy minister has just handed in his resignation. Not only that, but the Credit Suisse, the bank that is probably going to fall first, chief compliant officer is also set to leave. We'll get back to Credit Suisse in a minute. The 10-year U.S. Treasury bond is on pace for its worst year in history with a loss of 19.5%. And also, Janet Yellen says the Treasury is taking steps to mitigate potential risk in the Treasury market market and private money market and bond funds. Now let's get back into Credit Suisse. Just in, Credit Suisse is paying $233 million to settle tax fraud and money laundering case in France. Speaking on how bad they're doing already, this is probably going to hurt. Remember when Chinese delayed the GDP? Well, it just so happens that Chinese GDP year over year came out at a 3.9% and the forecast was 3.3% previously, previously 0.4%. Now that you guys made it halfway through the video, I'm going to make this really quick. Mumu is allowing me to give you 15 free stocks for just signing up and depositing a dollar in your account. Each of these stocks are valued up to $2,000. Now, a lot of people don't talk about their own experience. However, I've had family members do this and I I've had myself do it right before I started promoting them. And at the time, it was only 10 free stocks, and I made about 60, 70 bucks just from doing that. So if you guys want free money, make sure to go do that. Also, you can just put it towards a passive income portfolio, which is a video I made yesterday talking about the top four dividend stocks to buy now that you can live off of. So make sure to hit the link down below and get your free money for downloading Mumu and signing up and depositing a dollar. Now, there is a sudden material oversupply of gas in Europe. Could prices go to zero? Speaking of that, European gas prices tumbled to lowest since July rely on easing supply fears. Just to add on to that, Exxon Mobil has its earnings Friday, so be aware and let me know if you guys are going to be playing this. Now we are going to be getting into the AMC chart and the SPY chart, but real quick, we got a couple more pieces of news. Since 2000, taxpayer dollars have financed the development of various vaccine platforms for HIV, pandemic flu, yada yada yada. Well guess what, your taxpayer dollars that the government are using? Pfizer is now about to mark up the vaccine 10,000%. Did you guys get your vaccine let me know down below i personally did not and i don't plan on it i've had covid about three to four times and some of them were bad but it's just not worth it in my opinion russian military's chief of general staff held a phone conversation with his uk counterpart about a nuclear dirty bomb again nuts i wanted to bring up a couple pieces of war because it always has to do with how the market reacts and it also just preps you for what's to come for your safety speaking of war germany's chancellor says that we want ukraine to become a eu member state State. Now, Egypt is to develop a new currency indicator to wean people off of the US dollar. Guys, I showed you the chart before of AMC against the US dollar, and AMC plays 100% inverse whatever tinfoil hat theory you have on there. If Egypt's plan works and the US dollar starts to come down, wean off, could AMC rise? Or is that just the coincidence and that's not actually the hedge? Now, Yellen says we could face financial stability risks. Well, no shit. <laughs> Take a look at all of the articles that say 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008. U.S. stocks record longest run of quarterly decline since 2008. 10-year treasury yield drops 4.2% for first time since 2008. Hedge fund launches plummet to lowest since 2008 financial crisis. U.S. 30-year mortgage rate breach is 6.5%, highest since 2008. Bank of America sees worst year since 08. Yon falls lowest since 08 global crisis. Speaking of the 2008 global crisis, I overlaid the chart right on the S&P 500 for you, and the VIX is overlaid the exact same. But take a look how 
identical this is and just in case you can't see it I'll turn it to yellow right now just so you guys can actually tell how close this is to the S&P 500 we are on this little relief rally right here let me move this for you with that being said I don't think 350 was actually the market bottom we got to bounce off this trend line but based off of what's to come and based off of how close this follows to 2008 and in my opinion is going to be worse than 2008 I think we see a flash crash to the downside in the very very near future not going anything below Low the COVID lows at around 220 bucks. That's just in my opinion, even though 08 shows a worse crash, I personally think we won't go below that, but I could be wrong. I'm just saying prep for the worst. I could be wrong. I'm just a dude on YouTube. Let's get into the AMC chart before we close out the video. All right, guys, now we have been tracking the cycles on AMC and I want to talk about the start of the one we're in right now, because I think over the next three days, AMC is going to go nuts. And we'll talk about that in one second, but I wanted to point out the volume down here. As soon as one cycle starts, the volume gets really low. However, However, this is the lowest volume has been since the big push to the downside and that was the only inverse cycle at least that we've saw a push to the downside so first we ran up to 70 thousands of percent uh, I'm sorry we ran up to 20 thousands of percent then up to 70 and then the push to the downside and we've been in this trend for about a few cycles now and now the volume is the lowest it's been since we saw that push to the downside so in my opinion the volume dry up plus with what I have plus with the way the market is and banks are I expect AMC to have a massive rally pretty soon. Does that mean we're going to break the algos? I'm not really positive. We do need volume for that. And I've been seeing a lot of people crying about, oh, AMC's not going to do this. AMC's not going to do that. Especially that Chris Norland guy, which I made a video on. You guys go watch that, but that's beyond the fact. So tracking the cycle we've been in, it does not have to play out exact. However, it does look pretty similar with what we have lined up on AMC. Take a look at the cycle. And if I just pop it on when it starts from the low, it does look like over the next week or so, AMC is going to have a massive move and personally, I think it's a good time to play calls. Nothing I say is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. However, we've been about seven days into the cycle and some of them take 11 days before the pop. So could this week be a little bit of a prep for it? I don't know. But in my opinion, I think volume is already dried up enough for the spring to the upside. And in my opinion, guys, over the next few days, AMC will have a large pop to the upside at minimum pushing past $12 or at least up to $12. And in my opinion, we do have the chance to go a lot higher, but it honestly just depends on what the cycle does and how everything is is laid out. Hopefully you guys taken something out of value from the video or at least just enjoyed watching or listening, whatever it is that you do. But before you leave, please hit the like, hit that subscribe button because 70% of people who watch my channel aren't subscribed and it's crazy and it's crazy hard to make it as a small YouTuber with 6,000 subscribers. Let's get to 10K. Share this with your family. Share this with your friends. Get your 15 free stocks. Link down below and pin in the top comments. I love you all. Lottery Stocks out.